Hey, Radians here. Let me show you how I handle type generation for my TypeScript GraphQL projects in the context of a Mon repo. You can find all the source code in the description. First, we create a new package called API interface, which will define an interface for our GraphQL API. We add a GraphQL schema in a schema.graphql file. To generate types from the schema, we need to install GraphQL CodeGen packages. To run GraphQL CodeGen, we'll add a CodeGen script to package.json. There can be only one implementation of the GraphQL API, we'll put generated types for the server in the API package under GQL folder. In this example, we only have one consumer of the API under the app package, but in practice, there might be additional clients using the same API in the mon repo. So we'll put generated types for the client in the app interface package under client folder to not duplicate it between the clients. In the codegen.cs file, we direct it to the schema file and reference the app package .ts and .tsx file that contain GraphQL queries and mutations. In the generates field, we have two destinations, schema.ts file with types for the server and the client in the app interface package that various clients can rely on. I use Apollo server to implement the interface and yes build to build the project for AWS Lambda. We import the schema.graphql file from the app interface package as follows. Yes, we'll then copy the file to the root of the disk folder under a different name, and we can read from there. To achieve this behavior, we need to add a loader to the yes build config. Then in resolvers.ts file, we can import the resolvers tab and implement mutation and query resolvers. Since I store each resolver in a separate file, I'll use the mutation resolvers or query resolvers to type them. On the front end, I rely on a custom use API hook to query the API and the React query library to catch the data. By using the GraphQL function, we get a typed document node that we can pass to the use API's query hook. Here we use a GVT token for authorization that we add to the headers under the authorization key. The query function receives a typed document from the GraphQL typed document node library. We use regular window fetch to make the request. We take API URL from the environment variables and stringify the query and variables. The print function from GraphQL library is used to convert the document to a plain query string. Our GraphQL API should always return 200 status code, so if there's a problem with the request, it's likely not related to the API code and we throw an HTTP error. If error exists in the response, we throw an API error that can be handled in the UI. If the error indicates that it's unauthenticated, we call the unauthorized function, which will redirect the user to the login page. To become an effective programmer, check out my productivity app at increaser.org.